Hi, and a big welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a deliciously simple fish cake. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll put my subscription button down here. Get across to the channel, have a look at all the recipes we have there. There's some wonderful things. Now, let me get on and show you how to make this fish cake. Now I've got about 500 grams, that's a pound of potatoes, and rather than cook them and mash them, I've roasted these ones in a microwave. I just put them on for about six or so minutes until the flesh is nice and soft. So the skin just comes off nice and easy and we can put them straight into the bowl. So I've got 500 grams now of potatoes in there and I need equal amounts of fish. Now you can go for any white fish you like or even a crab meat. I'm going for this smoked mackerel. It was on special in my local supermarket. It's a smoked mackerel with a black cracked pepper on there. So I'm just crumble that, break that up loosely with your hands and put it in with the potato. So whilst we've got our potato and our fish in the bowl, we're just going to mash it up with a regular masher. So when you're happy you've got it mashed to a sort of rough consistency like that, we'll just taste it a little bit and see whether it needs any seasoning. Now because I've used a smoked fish there, it's already salted so I don't need to add any seasoning into this and there's black pepper in it, but you adjust yours to the way you like it. Now I've taken half a brown onion, very finely chopped, and we can just use a fork now to fold this into the mixture. Now I'm just going to chop up some parsley. Now whether you use the curly parsley or the flat leaf parsley, it really doesn't matter. And with the parsley, I'm just going to add a, a green chili, which I'm just going to roughly chop. Okay, now I've used green chilies there. I'm just going to add that to the parsley. And I'm only using half a chili, but you could use a red chili. It adds a little extra color into the ingredients. Now I'm just going to grate the zest of a lemon into that as well, maybe about half a lemon. It gives a lovely sort of tangy, zesty flavour to it. So now our chopped parsley, our chilies, and our lemon zest is going to go into that. And I'm just going to use my hands to, to mix that through. And now with your mixture ready, we're just going to take these and form them into little fishball patties. Now we're not making them round, I'm going to make them a little bit flat like that and then lay them on the side. Now they could be cooked just as they are. You could shallow fry those, but we're actually just going to breadcrumb them. I like a little breadcrumb coating on them. So now I'm going to coat my fish cakes. I'm going to be using a little plain flour, one egg and some homemade breadcrumbs. You can get breadcrumbs store brought, not a problem. Just take the egg and I'll add a little bit of uh, water in there and just lightly beat it through. So now it's time to get your hands a little dirty. We're going to just roll our fish cake around in the flour, get an even coating. And then I'm using the other hand to dip it into the egg to try and keep it a, a little cleaner, keep the dry hand and wet hand separate. And then drop that fish cake into the breadcrumbs and give it a nice coating. And uh, then we're going to take that over to the frying pan and fry that out to a nice golden brown. So into a frying pan with just about a tablespoon of oil. I'm just going to add three fish cakes at a time. Just drop them in there. And then we're just going to fry them through until they're golden brown. So after a minute or so, we'll just try and turn one of these over. And there you can see on the back, that's nicely browned. And when you're happy that they're cooked through, we just take those fish cakes out and pop them onto a plate. Now when you've browned those over, and they don't really need cooking because everything in there is already cooked, they're ready to serve. So I would serve these with a nice plate of french fries and a vegetable of your choice. They taste absolutely delicious. And the proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating. So let's have a little try of these uh, fish cakes now. Absolutely delicious, guys. Simple to make. Now, if I had any criticism of that, I'd say maybe make the onion a little finer. You could grate it in there, but um, no, can't criticize the taste at all. It's lovely. So thank you again for joining me in Steve's Kitchen for this delicious fish cake, and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe down here, comment below. Be good. See you next time. Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Coronation Chicken. It is number one in our budget meals, our budget family or student meals. And uh, it's very simple. Let me show you how to make it. 